Hey guys, I had the idea recently to do a makeup hacks video with some little tips and tricks that I've been using lately. So please click subscribe before we get into the video if you are not subscribed already. And without further ado, let's begin. So for hack number one, I'm just starting off with a moisturizer. And these work so well as a makeup base. This one here, the Nivea Soft, is really, really lightweight and it absorbs really quickly, so I like this one for under foundation. Plus to me, it smells really good. If you just saw me sniffing it then, yeah, can't help myself. Every time I put it on, I just have to have a little whiff. But I get quite textured spots on my skin, so this is such a good one for those of you that have drier patches. I get really dry patches around my mouth, and I also have texture like on my pores and around my nose, and this just smooths everything out. And it stays this amazing sort of dewy look even though it absorbs in. I just love doing this before makeup lately. This next makeup pack here is reviving your dead brow pomades. I don't know why, but they always seem to get that weird crusty film on top and it's so hard to sort of break through. And I find that using a straight oil can completely ruin them. They go really gluggy and weird. So this trick actually works so well to mix a little bit of moisturizer in with your eyebrow pomade. And it totally revives it. And I almost prefer it to the original consistency because it's not as dark. So it leaves a little bit more room for error and it just looks that tiny bit more natural. So I've been loving this lately and I've saved so many eyebrow products because of it. Okay, so I'm totally favoring my moisturizing hacks, probably because I have dry skin, but I also love this one here. So I'm demonstrating putting on a lipstick and then you can't find the exact right blush color. You can put the lipstick straight on your cheeks, but it can be really difficult to blend out. I find anyway, I don't know if it's because of my skin type. Honestly, try this and tell me it is not bomb. So I've been mixing in some moisturizer with the lipstick and it makes the absolute perfect blush color. And this is the exact same feel as like a jelly blush or a cushion blush, but you can just custom make any color you want. And I also find that the dry time on these is the perfect amount that you actually have some time to work it into the skin. I hate it when they sort of cling to your skin and then you're rubbing around and you move your base underneath. This is just perfect and it gives the prettiest glowy flush. So I love doing this. Next hack we have is a little bit of a cream contouring hack. So I don't know about you guys, but I find a lot of cream contours from the palettes and everything so hard to work with. They are way too waxy, they're way too pigmented and dark. And so what I've been doing is using actually just a darker face concealer and using a makeup sponge to blend it in. It works like a dream. So don't fear cream contouring if you are a bit of a fairer complexion or if you've just tried it in the past and it's been an absolute nightmare because I know that I'm definitely not the biggest fan of it, but I've been doing this lately with a darker concealer and it gives the prettiest bronzy look to your cheeks and it takes like skill level zero to do, which is always good. So for the next hack, I wanted to show you what I've been doing with my mascara. You can see in this clip, I have little blonde roots on my eyelashes, as a lot of girls do, not necessarily only blonde girls. So I'm demonstrating here on this eye what most of us do, which is just with a normal, regular sized mascara wand, we go in on top of the lashes and try to conceal the blonde, but then by the time you're going underneath, trying to separate those lashes, they're all clumped together, you've probably got smudges all over your eyelid, like ruined your eyeshadow if you've got eyeshadow, and we don't want that. So, let me show you the trick. Quite simply, just get a mascara that is not huge. So I love the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. This MAC mascara here has a built-in little bottom lash mascara, but don't fall for the marketing, use it on those top lashes. And I just gently roll it towards my eye. I know it kind of looks like I'm tugging, but don't worry, I'm just very gently pushing it into the lashes. And because it doesn't coat the whole lash, you don't get the whole clumpy eyelash problem. And then you can just go in with your regular mascara and it looks leagues better. And you can just see without me even having to tell you how much nicer that left eye looks compared to the right. So this hack definitely works. 
The next hack I'm just briefly skimming over because I think everybody knows this, but it's the old Q-tip trick. So you gotta wait till your mascara blobs dry and then they should just easily flick off when you use a Q-tip. The next makeup pack I think a lot of us could benefit from. So you wanna invest in a nude or a white colored eyeliner. I know you're probably thinking, what is the point in that? But it's for your waterline, so the little line inside your eye. I mean, lots of us are makeup fanatics, so I'm sure we know what the waterline is, but this just makes such a difference once you put on your lower lash mascara. It totally makes you look like you had your eight hours of sleep, even if you didn't. So a little bit of lipstick is nice, but it doesn't make your lips look overly full for the most part. So what I love doing is pairing my lip color with a darker lip liner. That one was completely run out, so you can see I switched over. But you wanna pick a color that's slightly darker or the same color as your natural lips. And just go ahead and overdraw, don't be shy now. You'll be surprised how real this looks once you put on the slightly lighter lipstick color that you're pairing with it. It just is so magic, honestly. So this is the lighter shade I'm using and I'm just applying that right over. Pretty much cover the entire lip liner, but just have a little bit peeking through the outer edges and it makes it look like, hey, that's your real lip peeking through when actually it's not. This is amazing. I have not very big lips at all, but you can honestly see what a difference this hack makes. It makes the lips look so full and gorgeous. And last but not least, we have a perfume hack. So since I had my moisturizer handy, I thought I would show you a little trick I used to do when I worked on a fragrance counter, and I would tell my customers also to do this. So this is my current favorite perfume. I don't even wanna say current, I think this is my signature scent. I'm obsessed with this perfume. It's La Vie Estabelle, excuse my bad French, but love it. So a good trick to do is to apply a little bit of moisturizer to the Décolletage, again with the French, why do I do this to myself? Cannot pronounce French for the life of me. But having really moisturized skin actually helps so much with the longevity of your perfume. So to make sure that you're getting the most out of your fragrance, definitely do this little trick. There's just me hugging my perfume because I love that. So there is the finished Makeup Hacks video. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and subscribe, write me a comment. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.